Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear friends, welcome back. In our previous lecture, we discussed about how to estimate the re power required for various cases as well as the thrust required and we figured out what is the minimum power required and minimum thrust requirement of the system as well as the maximum velocity that at which you can fly for with a given power plant. And we also witnessed about what is the stable region of flight and what is unstable region of flight. So, what is the whole idea? behind doing the behind this exercise. Otherwise, say how can you select a power plant for a given UAV, right. So, as mentioned earlier, we need to figure out what is the corresponding requirement of the system during various phases of flight. Now, since we discussed about level flight, which is the crew is here, study level flight, let us figure out a power plant of a UAV by taking an example. Find the specifications of the power plant. the following delta V UAV during its cruise. Say the span of the UAV 1.5 meters in the root cord is 0.9 meters and tip cord is 15 centimeters and say wing loading Four four seven kg per meter square. And the drag polar of this UAV is zero point zero three five plus KCL square. Assume Oswald's efficiency of Point six 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 point six eight six. So the maximum velocity this at which the maximum maximum velocity of flight. The, this UAV has to has to fly is thirty five meters per second. From wind tunnel testing, the CL max 
of this configuration is. One point zero one at twenty at approximately alpha stall of twenty one degrees. And you can also So, find the specifications of patients with the propeller driven engine for the following delta wing UAV during its cruise. The maximum velocity of flight that is expected from this UAV is 35 meters per second. Now, given the span of the system, the span of the wing, they say it is a delta wing UAV, it has 1.5 meter span and a root code of 0.9 meters. and a tip cord of 0.15 meters. Point 0.15 and say this is 0.9 this is 0.75 right and the Oswald's efficiency factor. So, B is 1.5, CR is 0.9, CT in this case is 0 0.15, CR and wing loading is given W by S right. W by S is 4.446447 kg per meter cube, meter square, sorry, kg per meter square. And we assume that this aircraft, this UAV has to perform its flight at sea level, right. So, we can assume, assume flight at sea level. So, density at sea level is 1.225 kg per meter cube and the drag polar is given for this UAV which is CD naught plus KCL square is equals to 0 0.035 plus K into CL square. So, this implies CD naught the profile drag coefficient is 0 0.035 and we need to find out what is k induced drag correction factor. Now, we need to understand like what should be the power, power plant specifications. That means, so one of the mission requirement is that the, the maximum velocity is 35 meters per second. So, we know that from our previous lecture, we can refer to our previous lecture and say so, if this is the power required and this is your velocity, so this this has a typical variation, right? This curve represents the typical variation of power required velocity. And see, if this is your power available, which almost remains constant with velocity for a propeller driven aircraft, right? So, if power available and power required. So, we need to mention what is the maximum power required by the or by uh, required by the system, right. So, if you know the maximum power required by the system, then we can say that this amount of power has to be delivered by the power plant, propeller as well as engine combination, right. So, if we come up with this specifications like what is the power available, we will be able to, we will able to specify the corresponding power plant, right. So, say this is your V max, which in our case is 35 meters per second. So, you need to find out this power, this point of intersection, right. 
So, for this power required if power available at that point is equals to power available max. So, because this is your maximum velocity right. So, this much this should be the your power available maximum or say the may not be necessary, but you can say take a factor of safety and you can use it. That may not be the maximum capability of the engine itself, but this should be the required power that need to be delivered by the power plant to the system to achieve the level flight at this required velocity. Okay. So, the maximum velocity we require is 35 meters per second. So, power required at V is equals to 35 meters per second that is equals to drag into velocity which is 35 meters per second in this case. So, half rho V infinity cube S into C D. So, this equals to half rho V infinity cube S into C D naught plus K C L square. Now, what are the un what are unknowns here? S is unknown. Yes, yeah, we need to find out. K we need to find out, all right? And C L for this velocity, right? Okay. How to find that? So S is equals to B into C R plus C T by two which is C r by 2 into 1 plus lambda, right. So, what is lambda? Where lambda is equals to C t by C r which is 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.9 lambda is equals to 1.667, 0 0.167, 0 0.167, not 0 0.167. So, this is your lambda, please substitute lambda here and you know what is C r, C r is given as an input here 0 0.9 meters and B is 1.5 meters. So, 1.5 times 0 0.9 by 2 plus 1 plus 0 0.1667. This implies S is equals to approximately 0 0.787 meter square, right. We got to know what is the area here. And if you want to find out what is the weight of this UAV, wing loading is given, right? W by S is equals to 447 kg per meter square. This implies W is equals to 4.447 into what is S? 0.787. This implies W is approximately 3.5 kgs. Right. So, the weight of this UAV is approximately 3.5 kg. Now, you have area with you and you know rho density. What is K? K for this UAV is 1 by pi E A R. So, what is K? Pi into. So, the Oswald's efficiency is given here, which is point, point 0.666 which is 0.686. So, the Oswald's efficiency is given as 0.686 for this configuration and what is the aspect ratio? Aspect ratio is equal to B square by S, right. That implies B is 1.5 meter square by 0.787 is equals to 2.8, 2.85. So, substitute that aspect ratio here 2.85, K is approximately 0.16. Right. Now, we have K here. Now, we need to find out what is the corresponding C L. How do you find C L? We have from equation C 2, since it is a level flight, right, we are talking about level flight. So, during level flight, 
thrust is equals to drag of the system and lift is equals to weight of the system. So, since C2 L is equals to W which is C L is equals to twice the wing loading by rho into corresponding velocity square. So, if you want to fly at the maximum velocity or the maximum velocity that is that UAV has to perform is has to fly uh, uh, has to fly is at 35 meters per second. So, substitute 35 meters per second here and you know you have the corresponding wing loading data and you know what is density of flight right the altitude of flight where you can find the corresponding density and you can figure out what is the corresponding CL for this configuration CL for, for this particular flight. So, CL for this particular velocity 35 meters per second is equals to square root or 2 times W by S is 4.4447 it is kg per meter square right. So, but W is in it should be in Newton right it is force. So, convert this to Newton per meter square divided by 1.25 is the density since we are flying at sea level and what is corresponding velocity is 35 meter square meter per second square this equals to 0 0.058. See the CL required for this particular flight is 0 0.058 which is very very less right. What you have to find out is power available is equals to power required at V is equals to 35 meters per second, 35 meters per second which is equals to half rho V infinity square S into C D naught plus K C L square this equals to half into 1.225, 1.225 into 35 into V infinity this becomes 35 cube into 0 0.787 into C D naught is 0 0.035 plus 0 0.16 into C L square 0 0.058 square. So, this equals to 733.691 watts. This is the power that that is required by the system. The de system demands the UAV demands a power of 7 734 watts when you are flying at a velocity of 35 meters per second during cruise. So, this is the power available right, but what we get as an output is a shaft power from the engine. So, the engine is rated in terms of shaft power right. PS, PSH is a shaft power right. So, when the shaft is combined with a propeller you will get the corresponding useful power right. So, propeller efficiency is given as 0 0.9 and we know power available is equals to efficiency times shaft power. So, what should be the corresponding shaft, shaft power that the engine has to deliver is power available by eta propeller efficiency which is 733.691 watts divided by 0.9 is the propeller efficiency that is given into yeah 0 0.9 815.21 815 watts. So, you have to select a power plan which gives at least 815.21 watts if you are if you want to move at 35 meters per second. But ideally this should not be at the peak power of the IC engine or the whatever the power plant that you select, it should be. So, you need to get this peak power at a 50 percent of what it is rated for. Say if you are 
power plant peak power is rated about 1200 or so, then this will be about 60 percent of it or 70 percent. So, that should be a good number to select, right. So, you need to select a power plant which delivers this power at 60 or 50 to 60 percent of its rated power. So, this now let us extend this question a bit. So, you have fi figured out what is the shaft power, right. Now, how do you get to know like what can be the minimum velocity that I can fly at the same time what can be the corresponding minimum power that I can that the system requires, right. Power requirement of the system of this VA. How do you get this? You need to find first what should be the velocity, right. So, you know what is the range of velocities that you can fly? Do you know it or not? What should be the range of velocities? Either velocity for minimum power required or stall velocity, right. And the upper limit is maximum velocity that you want. So, let us find out the lower limit of this velocity range. So, for that we need to find out two velocities either the stall velocity as well as yeah both, both the stall velocity and minimum velocity for minimum power required. Now, let us see what is the velocity for minimum power required, power required minimum which you can attain by velocity for C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum right, which is equals to square root over 2 twice the wing loading divided by density into C L for power required minimum which is C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum, right. This equation we, we got it from C 2 L is equals to W, right, lift is equals to weight in this case since it is a cruise. So, what is the corresponding velocity? for power required minimum. So, to get this we need to know what is C L for minimum power requirement condition which is C L for C L by C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum, right. So, what is that condition C L for power required minimum is equals to C L for C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum which is equals to square root over 3 C D naught by k. So, this implies C L for C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum is equals to square root over 3 into what is C D naught? 0 0.035 which we obtained it from drag polar and k we have calculated which is 0 0.16. So, this turns out to be 0.81. See the C L almost demands, see the maximum C L we we got uh, we have it is about 1.01, right. So, we need to fly almost close to stall angle of attack. So, as the velocity decreases the corresponding requirement of C L increases, right. We need to trim at higher angles of attack. Now, substitute this value here. twice wing loading what is the what is wing loading 4.47 447 into 9.81 because 4.447 is given in newton kg per meter square we need to convert that to newton per meter square density is 1.225 sea level density kg per meter cube and the corresponding cl for this condition is 0.81 so this turns out to be approximately 10.37 meter per second right. So, this is the velocity at which you need to fly if you want to maintain a minimum power requirement condition. But is this velocity possible? We have to check if it is less than the stall velocity then you will not be able to fly, right. You will not be able to fly in a level flight condition. Now, we need to find out what is the stall velocity as well. V minimum 
is obtained later. So, stall velocity is square root over twice w by s by rho into C L max. So, C L max is twice w by s is 4.447 into 9.85 into 1.225 into C L max is 1.01. 8.39 meters per second. So, V minimum is equals to V stall since V for power required, no, V minimum is equals to V for minimum power requirement, power required minimum is equals to 10.37 meters per second. Why? Because power required minimum is greater than V stall. That means, so V stall falls in the region of unstable flight, right. Region of velocity region of unstable flight, right. So, that is why we need, we have to fly at V for minimum power required condition. So, we can straight forward say that, right, because the C L for this condition is 0 0.81 but C L max is 0 0.1, 1.01. That means, C L for minimum power requirement is less than C L, C L max. That means, in the denominator, this quantity is lesser than the other quantity, which means the velocity will be higher. So, we can straight away say that we can fly at minimum power requirement. So, we have estimated the minimum power, minimum velocity of flight and what should be the corresponding power, power required by the system. So, power required by the system is equals to or power required minimum, right? This is the velocity for minimum power required is equals to drag times velocity, which is half rho s yes, C D naught plus K C L square into velocity for power required minimum square and C L for power required minimum, sorry, it is cube, please correct this, this is cube, because half rho v square and v infinity, it is cube. So, C D naught plus K C L square, C L for power required min minimum condition. So, 0 0.5 into 1.225 into 0 0.787 into 0 0.035 plus 0 0.16 into 0 0.81 square. So, this is your C L for minimum power requirement condition. So, you need to substitute this value here or say. So, you need to substitute this value. Substitute this value in this equation. Eight point eight one square times, and the corresponding velocity for minimum power requirement is ten point three seven, right? This is the corresponding velocity for minimum power requirement. Ten point three seven cube. This equals to seventy five point two four watts. See, for maximum velocity you need around 734 watts and for minimum velocity condition you require 75 watts. Now, let us look at another example. The same question, let us solve for a jet engine. Find the specifications of the jet engine for the following delta wing UAV during its cruise. The maximum velocity of flight that this UAV has to fly is? 35 meters per second, right. So, again here similar to that propeller driven aircraft, we need to find out. In this case, the jet engine is rated in terms of thrust, right. In propeller driven aircraft, it is rated in terms of power. So, we need to find out what is the maximum thrust requirement or say here since the maximum thrust requirement comes when, when you fly at the maximum velocity. For this case, the maximum velocity that is required as per the mission is 35 meters per second. 
So, we need to find out the corresponding thrust required at 35 meters per second and the jet engine need to deliver the thrust at 35 meters per second to achieve this particular flight condition. Let us see how to proceed this problem. So, what we have from C 1 for level flight thrust required is equals to drag right. If you look at thrust versus velocity variation of thrust and velocity say in Newton or kilo Newton say it is meters per second. Now, the typical plot for thrust required velocity is this one which is thrust required is nothing but drag here. So, this is the thrust required in and say so this is your thrust available, thrust available from the engine right. Now, what is this plot thrust required and velocity? It is a summation of which is nothing but drag in this case right. For a level flight case, this thrust required is drag which is a summation of profile drag and induced drag right. So, induced drag will be lower or at higher velocities right. So, as the velocity increases this is profile drag. So, as the velocity as the velocity increases the profile drag increases and the induced drag decreases. this is induced drag curve right. So, this intersection where C d i C d naught is equals to C d i. So, this is like half rho v square is C d naught right and this is half rho v square s into k c l square, k c l square we can term it as c d i coefficient of induced drag. So, at this point these two coefficients are equal like, so this point corresponds to c d naught is equals to c d i that is equals to k into c l square. So, k c l square is equals to c d naught. So, the and the total drag coefficient at this point the total drag coefficient at this point is 2 c d naught c d is equals to 2 c d naught at this particular point. So, this is the condition for when this is achieved when you are flying at L by d maximum. So, the corresponding velocity is velocity for T r minimum or L by d maximum. So, this point corresponds to thrust required minimum right. Yeah. And when do we achieve maximum velocity? So, when thrust required is equals to drag right, thrust required is equals to thrust available from the power plant. So, this particular velocity will be the maximum velocity of flight and this corresponds the for this particular case it is 35 meters per second. So, if this is the case what should be your thrust requirement that is the problem that we need to solve right. So, what we have is from C 2 from C 1 what we have is thrust is equals to drag and we know thrust required is equals to w by L by d which we have solved earlier w by C L by C d. So, for maximum T r max if you or T r at velocity 40 me, 35 meters per second is equals to 
W by C L for 35 meters per second or C L by C D for 35 meters per second at velocity 35 meters per second. So, what is the weight of this system which we have earlier calculated? So, wing loading here is 4.447 kg per meter square and the area we figured it out as 0 0.787 meter square and aspect ratio is 2.885 and Oswald's efficiency is given as 0 0.686. So, the corresponding induced correction factor flow, induced drag correction factor is 0 0.16, right. And from the drag polar, we have CD naught is equals to 0 0.035, drag polar, we have CD naught is equals to, right. So, what will be the CL for 35 meters per second from C1, C2, we have L is equals to W which is half rho V square SCL is equals to W. We have CL for this particular case when V infinity is 35 meters per second, 35 meter per second is, is equals to twice the wing loading divided by density at the respective altitude into the corresponding velocity of flight which in this case is 35 meters per second. This implies C L for this velocity or which is uh, which is considered the maximum velocity for this UAV 35 meters per second. As per the mission requirements 35 meters per second is the maximum velocity. Right. This is twice the wing loading which is for 4.447 into 9.81 will convert this to Newton per meter square divided by 1.225 kg per meter cube into 35 meters per second square. The corresponding C L for V infinity 35 meters per second is 0 0.058. So, this is not going to change right, we have earlier calculated this, this is not going to change either the jet engine or the propeller engine and driven engine that is not going to change any CL requirement because you are flying at cruise. See the propulsion system whatever the way it is the I mean ultimately we need thrust right whether it is generated by a electric driven engine or a propeller driven engine or a jet engine. What you have is CL here which is 0 0.058. Now using this CL we can calculate what is CD, CD for this case is at V infinity 35 meters per second is equals to C D naught plus K C L square, it should also remain the same. What is the value? 0 0.035 plus what is K? 0 0.16 into C L square which is 0 0.058. So, 0 0.0355 which, which, which we have earlier derived, right. This, this is exactly same C D at V infinity 35 meters per. So, please make a correction, it is 0 0.0355, right. So, what is L by D of this configuration? No, at this particular flight condition, what is the L by D at that particular flight condition? L by D at V infinity 35 meters per second is equals to C L by C D at V infinity 35 meters per second, which is equals to C L at 35 meters per second and C D at 35 meters per second, which is 0 0.058 divided by 0 0.035. One point six double three eight. Reason why L by D for delta wings is very very less, right? In other cases, it would have been at least sixteen, fourteen. 
in delta wings it is like 1.6 because the profile drag is very high for this delta wings. The thrust required, so this should be the thrust available which is equals to W by L by D at 35 meters per second at velocity. This is W is uh, 3 point, W is 3.5 kg into 9.81 divided by 1.633821.015 newtons which is approximately 2 kg of thrust you need to give 2 kg of thrust to lift a uav of 3.5 kg if you want to move at 35 meters per second with this particular drag polar, right. So, this should be the amount of thrust that this engine has to develop. Right. Now, what should be the minimum thrust requirement? Thrust required minimum is equals to W by L by D maximum. So, this should be the minimum amount of thrust you need to supply in order to have achieve a level flight for this particular UAV, right. 3.5 into 9.81 divided by 1.6 into what is L by D max root over 4 k C D naught 3.5 into 9.81 into square root over 4 into 0 0.16 into 0 0.035. 5.138. So, you need to fly at 5.138 newtons, which is approximately 0.5 kg, right? That is 500 grams. You need to supply 500 grams of thrust if you are flying at L by D maximum. Right? What is L by D max here? Now, let us look at what is L by D max. For this case, what is L by D max? That is Cl by Cd max, which is 1 by root over 4 k Cd naught, that is 1 divided by the root over 4 into 0 0.16 into 0 0.035. So, this value is 6.681. So, see the L by D max for this configuration is 6.618, whereas the L by D in this particular case is 1.6, approximately 1.6, right? 1.64. Cl for L by D max root over Cd naught by k, which is root over 0. 0 0.035 divided by 0 0.16 which is 0 0.4677 right. See, this is the Cl for this particular case and the Cl for see you are flying at minimum velocity. Minimum thrust requirement is like minimum velocity for this flight. Why? Because the corresponding velocity of flight we have not calculated. Let us look at that then we can comment it again. So, it's, uh, the CL for L by D max is 0 0.4677, right. And what is CD? CD naught plus KCL square, so which is 2 CD naught, it's like twice 0 0.035, it is 0 0.7, 0 0.07, right. This is the value of drag coefficient at this particular flight. So, how to achieve this? you need to trim at the corresponding angle of attack. Now, what is the velocity for this thrust required minimum condition? Is equals to square root over twice W by S, this is from C, C2. Using C2 equations, you can find it out. Since lift is equals to weight, 2W by rho, 2W by S by rho into corresponding C L for L by D max.
cost wise what is the wing loading here 4.447 into 9.81 divided by 1.225 into what is CL for L by D max is 0 0.467 sir. Twelve point three four zero meter per second. Twelve point three four, twelve meters per second approximately. So you need to fly at twelve meters per second. The CL here is CL for L by D max is 0.467, right? Whereas CL max is 1.01. So since this is lesser than CL max, the stall velocity is less is lesser than V trier because this is in the denominator, right? So you will have this velocity will be higher than the stall velocity and we have also we also calculated stall velocity as 8.2 meters per second right in our earlier in the earlier example we solved for stall velocity that's not going to change whether you are using a jet engine or propeller engine right so the velocity for minimum thrust requirement is 12.34 so this is your boundary boundary for stable flight right velocity regime for stable flight so this is the minimum limit so, the maximum limit that you already specified as per the mission requirements which is 35 meters per second. So, you have a velocity range of 12 to 35 meters per second using this jet aircraft right. So, see the as the velocity decrease the CL value for the corresponding CL value has increased here right. Here the CL value is very less but the velocity is high. So, the profile drag is higher that is why L by D is lesser. Let us look at another example. Flying wing weighs twenty two thousand kg has a NACA NACA six five three four one eight airfoil with a wing area. wing area of 30 meter square and aspect ratio 5. Determine the angle of attack when flying at 60 meters per second say 60 meters per second when flying at 60 meters per second find the corresponding L by lift to drag ratio ratio consider C L alpha of airfoil 2 D C L alpha 2 D or for the airfoil is 0 0.106 per degree and C D naught is 0 0.00043 and comma C D naught and E is 0.996. So, consider E as 0 0.92, okay. 96 is too high. So, this is the data that is given. So, there is a flying wing UAV which weighs about 2000 kg and it is flying at a velocity of 60 meters per second at sea level, assume it is, it is flying at sea level, right. So, it has an aspect ratio wing area of 30 meter square and an aspect ratio of 5. So, we need to determine the corresponding angle of attack of flight at the same time what is the L by D of this flight. With a, so, the other data that is given is we have C L alpha 2 D as 0 0.16 and C D naught is 0 0.043 and E as 0.92, right. How do we determine trim angle of attack? First, we need to know what is the corresponding C L solution first given 
W is equal to 2000 kg which is approximately equal to 20,000 Newton right W multiplied by approximately 10 right 9.82 and S is given as 30 meter square and AR is given as 5 and E is 0.92 and the velocity cruise velocity v infinity is equals to 60 meters per second right at the same time the cd naught of the wing is given as 0 0.0043 and cl alpha of wing cl alpha of airfoil that is 2d which is let us say a naught is the aerofoil cl alpha which is equals to 0.106 per degree right we can convert into radians right 0 0.106 into 180 by 5 6.073 3 6.033 per radian this is a cl alpha 2d of 2D that is a CL alpha of the airfoil. Now, how to find out CL alpha trim, alpha trim for this particular case? That means when you are flying at 60 meters per second, how do you get the alpha trim of the UAV during cruise? We have from C to lift is equals to weight, that is, it should be half rho v square s CL is equals to weight, right? So, this should be your CL, CL during cruise that is 2 W by 2 W by S divided by, so what is this? W is 20,000 Newtons divided by S is 30 meter square divided by 1.225 into 60 square that is 600. 0 0.302, 0 0.302 is your CL for this corresponding flight, right. So, assuming a linear range of angle of attack, the CL of design, CL design or CL for this particular flight condition is equals to CL naught plus CL alpha of wing into alpha trim. So, how to attain this is like alpha trim is equals to CL for this current condition divided by minus CL naught over C L alpha of 3 D. Now, what we need to find C L alpha and C L naught of the wing, right. If you know what is C L alpha of the wing and C L naught of the wing, you will be able to find out the corresponding trim angle of attack. Now, how to find the C L alpha of the wing? We have the relationship, right. We derived it earlier. C L alpha 3 D or for wing is equals to C L alpha 2 D divided by 1 plus C L alpha divided by pi E A R. This implies C L alpha 3 D is equal to, what is C L alpha 2 D in this case? 6.0733 divided by 1 plus, this is your C L alpha 3 D per radian, 2 D of NACA 6534184. Zero seven three three divided by pi e point nine two into aspect ratio of five C L alpha three D is equals to four point two seven six per radian. So this is a corresponding lift curve slope of wing, right? We need to find CL naught of the wing. How can you find minus CL alpha 3D into alpha trim minus minus alpha at which CL is 0, which will be same for both the cases. 
since we do not have the information about alpha at which C L is equals to 0, we can consider this entire angle of attack as angle of attack with respect to 0 lift line. So, we got C L alpha from here, we know alpha trim, we, if you want to find out the corresponding angle of, attack, uh, angle of attack of trim to achieve this C L, what we need is C L naught since we got C L alpha from here. So, how to find C L naught of this wing is minus C L alpha into alpha at which C L is equals to 0. For 635418 from our previous lectures, you can refer those previous lectures. The alpha at which C L is equals to 0 for aerofoil is minus 2 degrees, approximately minus 2 degrees. So, since alpha at C L 0 remains same for, it is an assumption that we consider it remains same for both aerofoil and wing. So, assuming that minus 2 degrees here, what we have is minus 4.276 into minus 2 into pi by 18. 0.1492. So, C L naught is 0.1492. So, now the corresponding alpha to trim, alpha trim is equals to from this equation, which is C L minus C alpha C L trim minus minus C L naught, C L naught divided by C L alpha, this equals to alpha trim is equals to C L is 0 0.32302 3 minus 0 0.1492 divided by C L alpha is 4.276, this equals to 0 0.0357 radians, which is approximately 2 degrees, right. This is the angle of angle of attack at which you need to trim this UAV, a 2000 kg UAV if you are flying at 60 meters per second with this particular drag pole. Now, if you want to find out L by D for this particular flight condition, you have C L and C D for this particular flight condition which is C L is 0 0.302 by C D is C D naught plus k C L square, k you can find out you have aspect ratio and Oswald's efficiency, what is k? k is 1 by pi e r, k is 1 by pi e r, that implies k is equals to 1 by pi into 0 0.92 into aspect ratio of pi, 0 0.0691 k value of k. So, substitute that value of k here. 0 0.302 divided by C D naught is 0 0.0043 plus K is 0 0.0691 into 0 0.3 otherwise C L term square. This equals to 28.51. Right. So L by D for this particular flight condition is 28.51. So, this UAV is flying at an L by D of 28.5. Although it is a low aspect ratio wing, still this profile drag is very, very less for this.